Once upon a time, there was a small town called Willow Creek. The town was known for its peaceful surroundings and friendly community. However, there was something sinister lurking in the shadows of the town, waiting to be unleashed. One Saturday morning, a yard sale was being held in the town square. It was a perfect day for browsing through the items on display and picking up a bargain or two. Among the many items for sale was an old music box. The music box was unique. It was made of dark wood with an intricate painting of flowers on top and a small golden keyhole in the front. The seller, an old lady named Agatha, told the buyer that strange things occurred when the music box was opened. Despite her warning, a young woman named Wendy was intrigued by the music box and decided to purchase it. She took it home and placed it on her bedroom dresser where it remained untouched for many weeks. One night, Wendy was awakened by the sound of music. It, it was coming from the music box. She got out of bed and walked over to the dresser to investigate. As she got closer, the music box began to play louder and louder until it was almost deafening. Suddenly, the lid of the music box popped open and a cloud of smoke escaped. Wendy felt a chill run down her spine as she watched in horror as a ghostly figure emerged from the box. The figure was that of a young girl with long black hair and a pale face. She floated above the music box, staring at Wendy with hollow eyes. Holy shit! Wendy tried to scream, but no sound came out of her mouth. She felt paralyzed with fear as the ghostly figure began to move towards her. The girl reached out her hand and touched Wendy's forehead. Suddenly, Wendy felt a sharp pain in her head and everything went black. When Wendy woke up, she was lying on the cool floor next to her bed. The music box was closed and there was no sign of the ghostly figure. Wendy tried to convince herself that it was just a bad dream, but she knew deep down that it was all too real. The next day, Wendy went to see Agatha, the woman who sold her the music box. She told Agatha about the ghostly figure and the pain in her head. Agatha nodded knowingly and told Wendy that the music box was cursed and that she should never have opened it. Well, she didn't. The ghost did. Agatha explained that the music box had been cursed by a powerful witch who had been wronged by the family who owned it. The witch had put a spell on the music box so that whoever opened it would be cursed with terrible nightmares and haunted by the ghostly figure of the young girl. Agatha told Wendy that the only way to break the curse was to find the golden key that would fit into the keyhole of the music box. Ah, that's the key. The key had been lost for many, many years 
and no one knew where it was. Wendy was determined to find the key and break the curse. She searched high and low, but to no avail. She began to experience terrible nightmares and would wake up in the middle of the night screaming in terror. <coughs> One night, Wendy woke up to find the ghostly figure standing at the foot of her bed. The girl reached out her hand and whispered in Wendy's ear, Find the key and set me free. Wendy knew what she had to do. She spent every waking moment searching for the key. She scoured the town library and spoke to everyone she could think of, but no one had any information on the key. One day, Wendy was walking through the town square when she saw an old man sitting on a bench playing a harmonica. Something about the man caught Wendy's attention and she approached him. Excuse me, she said. I'm sorry to bother you, but I was wondering if you've ever heard of a golden key that fits into a music box? The old man stopped playing and looked up at Wendy with a puzzled expression. Why, yes, he said slowly. I do believe I have. It belonged to my great-grandfather, who used to be the caretaker of the old mansion out on the edge of town. The mansion has been abandoned for years, but I believe the key may still be there. Wendy felt her heart race with excitement. She thanked the old man and hurried off toward the mansion. As she walked through the overgrown gardens, she felt a sense of unease. The mansion looked dark and foreboding, with broken windows and crumbling walls. She entered the mansion through the creaky old front door and cautiously began her search. She finally found the key in a dusty old chest in the attic of the mansion. As she held the key in her hand, she felt a surge of energy flow through her body. She knew that this was the key to breaking the curse, literally. She rushed home and opened the music box with the golden key. The ghostly figure appeared again, but this time she looked different. She was smiling and her eyes were filled with gratitude. Thank you, she whispered. You have set me free. The curse was broken, and Wendy felt a sense of relief wash over her. She went to bed that night and slept soundly for the first time in several weeks. But her peace was short-lived. The next day, she woke up to find that the music box was missing. She searched the entire house, top to bottom, but it was nowhere to be found. She realized with horror that the curse was not fully broken and that the music box was still out there waiting to be opened by someone else. She tried to warn the townspeople, but no one believed her. They thought she was crazy or just making shit up. Wendy knew that the only way to stop the curse was to find the music box and destroy it. She spent months 
searching for the music box, but it seemed to have vanished into thin air. Wendy was about to give up hope when she received a mysterious package in the mail. It was from an anonymous sender. It's just junk mail. Throw it away. It contained a note and a small wooden box. The note read, I know what you're looking for. This is your last chance. Destroy the box or suffer the consequences. Wendy opened the wooden box and found the same cursed music box inside. She knew what she had to do. She took the music box out into the woods and smashed it to pieces with a hammer. As she watched the pieces of the music box scatter in the wind, she felt an enormous sense of relief. She knew that the curse was finally broken and that no one else would ever have to suffer the same fate as she had. But as she walked back to her car, she heard the sound of music in the distance. It was the same tune that had haunted her nightmares for months. Wendy realized with horror that the curse was not fully broken and that the music box had one last trick up its sleeve. She ran towards her car, but it, it was too late. The ghostly figure of the young girl appeared before her and whispered in her ear, You can't escape the curse. It will follow you wherever you go. Wendy knew that the curse would never fully leave her, but she also knew that she had done everything in her power to break it. She quickly drove out of town, never looking back. <laughs> to this day, the cursed music box remains a mystery. Years went by, and Wendy tried to forget about the cursed music box. She moved to a new city, started a new life, and even got married and had children. But she could never fully escape the memories of the haunting melody and the ghostly figure that had plagued her for so long. One day, as Wendy was browsing through a local antique shop, she came across an old music box that looked strangely familiar. It was made of wood with intricate paintings on the lid. She opened the lid and a familiar tune began to play. Wendy's heart skipped a beat. She knew that this was the same cursed music box that she had destroyed so many years ago. But how had it ended up here? in this small antique shop so far away. She asked the owner of the shop where he had found the music box. He informed her he had acquired it from an estate sale and didn't know anything else about its history. Wendy knew that she had to destroy the music box again before it could cause any more harm. She bought the music box from the shop owner and took it to a nearby remote location in the woods. She smashed it to pieces with a rock and watched as the broken pieces scattered along the ground. She thought that this time she had finally broken the curse for good. I doubt it. But as she was walking back to her car, she heard that 
familiar tune again. She turned around and saw the ghostly figure of the young girl standing before her. You can't escape the curse, the girl whispered. It will follow you wherever you go. Wendy knew that the curse was not something that could be easily broken. <laughs> Obviously. She realized that the cursed music box was not the only thing that was haunting her. The curse had become a part of her and would always be with her. The music box was intact, sitting in her back seat. She decided to confront the curse head on and to, to try to understand its origins. She did a thorough research on the history of Willow Creek, where she had first found the music box and discovered the dark secret. Ah, here we go. Years ago, there had been a wealthy family who lived in the mansion on the edge of town. They had a daughter who loved to play the piano and was known for her beautiful music. But one day, the daughter disappeared and was never seen again. The family had searched for her for years, but had never found any trace of her. It was said that she had been cursed by a jealous rival who had trapped her soul inside the box. Well, that got dark in a hurry. Wendy knew that this was the origin of the curse. She realized that the young girl who had haunted her was the same girl who had been cursed all those years ago. The cursed music box was a vessel for her soul, and the only way to break the curse was to set her free. Wendy went back to the antique shop and spoke to the owner. She explained the history of the cursed music box and convinced him to donate it to a museum where it could be properly studied and understood, like the Ark of the Covenant. The museum experts examined the music box and discovered that it was indeed cursed. Well, if they say so, it must be true. They were able to perform a ritual that set the young girl's soul free and broke the curse for good. Wendy felt a sense of relief wash over her. She knew that the curse had finally been broken and that the young girl's soul could rest in peace. She also knew that she would never forget the haunting melody of the cursed music box but now, it no longer held any power over her. Years later, as Wendy sat on her porch, watching the sunset, she felt a sense of gratitude. She was grateful for the lessons she had learned from the curse and for the strength and resilience it had given her. Hey, at least something good came of it. She knew that life was full of challenges and curses, but also that it was possible to overcome them with determination and perseverance. She had come out on the other side stronger and wiser than before. Suddenly, she heard a faint sound coming from inside her house. It was a familiar tune, one that she thought she had left behind long ago. Her heart began to race as she realized that it was the cursed melody of the music box. This damn thing just won't die. She got up from her chair and went inside, following the sound of the music. 
It led her to her attic, where she found an old box covered in cobwebs. She opened the box and saw the cursed music box, whole and unbroken, sitting inside. Wendy felt a chill run down her spine as she realized that the curse was not over. The young girl's soul had been set free, but the curse had found a new vessel and was once again seeking to inflict its pain and suffering. She knew that she couldn't destroy the music box again as it had already been set free. She also knew that the curse would not stop until it had claimed its next victim. Wendy made a decision. She would face the curse directly and do whatever it took to break it once and for all. She would not let it control her life anymore. She contacted experts in paranormal activity and asked for their help. They came to her house and performed a series of rituals to break the curse. It was a long and grueling process, but Wendy did not give up. Finally, after months of work, the experts announced that the curse had finally been broken. I'll believe it when I see it. Wendy felt a sense of relief wash over her, as if a heavy weight had been lifted off her shoulders. She looked at the cursed music box one last time and then destroyed it with a hammer once again. The pieces scattered on the floor and Wendy knew that the curse was gone for good. From that day on, Wendy lived a happy and peaceful life free from the haunting memories of the cursed music box. She knew that she had confronted her horrors and conquered them, and that nothing could hold her back any more. As for the cursed melody, it was never heard again. Wendy had broken the curse and set the young girl's soul free. She knew she had made a difference and that her actions had saved countless lives from the grip of the curse. Years went by and Wendy became a legend in her town. People spoke of her bravery and determination and how she had faced the curse and emerged victorious. Wendy knew that the curse would always be a part of her life, but she also knew that it no longer held any power over her. She had faced her fears and overcome them, and that was all that mattered. And so, Wendy lived out the rest of her days in peace and contentment, knowing that she had made a difference in the world and that she had challenged her terrors and emerged victorious. Years passed, and the memory of the cursed music box faded away. Wendy grew old, but she never forgot the lessons she had learned from her experience with the curse. She spent her days mentoring young people, sharing her story and encouraging others to confront adversity. One day, as she was sitting in her garden, she received a package in the mail. It was a small wooden box, intricately painted and ornately decorated. Wendy recognized it immediately as a music box, but this one was different from any other she had seen before. There were no markings or inscriptions on the box, but she felt a strange sense of 
familiarity when she held it in her hands. Curiosity getting the better of her, Wendy opened the box and began to turn the handle. Now, why would you do that? As the music began to play, she felt a chill run down her spine. It was the same cursed melody that she had heard so many years ago. The music box had found its way back to her. Wendy knew that she had to act quickly. She had faced the curse before, and she knew that she could confront it again. She contacted the same experts who helped her years ago, and together they worked to break the curse once more. It was a difficult and grueling process, but Wendy was determined to overcome the evil. She refused to let the curse control her life again. As they worked, Wendy realized that the curse had not been targeting her. No, instead, it had been seeking revenge on the people who had destroyed the cursed music box all those years ago. The curse had been targeting their descendants, and Wendy was the only one who could break the curse and set the young girl's soul free permanently. Finally, after many months of work, the experts declared that the curse had been broken. Wendy breathed a sigh of relief, knowing that she had saved countless lives from the grip of the scourge. She looked at the wooden music box and knew that she could never destroy it. Instead, she chose to keep it close to her as a reminder of the power of fear and the strength of the human spirit. Years went by and Wendy lived out the rest of her days in peace and contentment. She knew that the curse would always be a part of her life, but she had looked into the darkness and overpowered it. She had saved countless lives from the power of the curse, and she knew that her legacy would live on forever. And so the cursed music box was finally put to rest, and its power was finally broken. Wendy had faced her problem and emerged victorious, and she knew that she could handle anything that life threw her way. However, there was one more surprise waiting for Wendy before she passed away. Man, she just can't catch a break, can she? One evening, as she was sitting in her living room in a rocking chair, she heard a faint melody coming from the music box. She had not touched the music box in years, and yet the music was playing on its own. Wendy's heart skipped a beat as she realized that the curse had not been entirely broken. She was now an old woman, and she knew that she could not fight the curse alone. She needed help. Desperate, Wendy reached out to a young woman named Lily, who was a gifted musician and had a deep understanding of music. Wendy knew that Lily was the only one who could help her break the curse. Lily was hesitant at first, but she could see the desperation in Wendy's eyes. She agreed to help, and they began to work together to unravel the mystery of the cursed music box. As they worked, they discovered that the curse had been lying dormant all these years, waiting for the right moment to strike. It had attached itself to Wendy, and she had unwittingly 
been passing it on to others every time she touched the music box. Lily knew that they needed to find a way to completely break the curse. She suggested that they try playing a counter melody to the cursed music in the hopes that it would disrupt the curse's power and finally release it. That's a pretty good idea. Together, Wendy and Lily worked tirelessly, creating a beautiful melody that would counteract the cursed music. They practiced for hours honing their skills until they were ready to face the curse head on. Finally, the day came when they were ready to try their plan. Wendy opened the music box and Lily began to play the counter melody. At first, the cursed music continued to play, but as Lily continued to play, the cursed melody began to fade away. It was a long and difficult process, but eventually the cursed music stopped playing entirely. Wendy and Lily sat in silence, exhausted but relieved, feeling that they had finally broken the curse. Wendy knew that she had lived a long and fulfilling life, but she also knew that she would always carry the memory of the cursed music box with her. Oh man, talk about an earworm. It had taught her to defy her apprehensions and to never give up, no matter how difficult the challenge. As for Lily, she continued to play music and to share her gift with the world. She knew that she had helped break the curse, and she was very proud to have been a part of Wendy's journey. And so, the cursed music box was finally put to rest, and its power was broken altogether. Wendy had emerged victorious, and she knew that she could face anything that life threw her way. The curse had been defeated, and the power of music had triumphed over evil once again. <laughs>